Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Jeremy from Hazel Tools and I'm your YouTube Snap-on guy. Me and Shy Jamie were just sitting here at the uh, shop and we came up with a great idea. A lot of you guys out there are just diehards with your tools and it doesn't matter what brand or whatever, we're all about tools, right? So go ahead, down below in the description, I'm gonna put my email. Send me a picture or two of your setup and a little story behind it, you know, whether it's something that you bought when you were younger, or something you just got, something that was gifted to you. Send me some uh, information on it, and I will feature one of you in my next video. You ready to get that out of your shop? Okay. You ready to get that out of there? So you guys have been asking me to uh, record how a repo goes and I just pulled up to the shop here. I'm still in my truck. And the shop owner actually has the tool chest sitting outside ready to go. So this is how a repo is going to go. As soon as uh, the guy in front of me moves, I'm going to move the truck so that we're on a hard surface and we'll make it happen. All right, so here we have it. We just loaded this thing up in here. Um, had to move the welder and the jack. And then the cart, the blue cart that I had back here actually moved up forward here a little bit. It's dirty, but We'll get it home and do what we always do, clean it up, pull the stickers. All right, so I had one of you guys uh, last night that asked me to show a little bit more about the road chest here. So let me get it unstrapped. And we'll go ahead and open this up so that you can actually see the drawer configuration inside of it. This one is a used one. So she's got a couple scratches and dents on it, but it's got the cage on here and underneath there's spots for a forklift to pick it up. So once this is full of tools, it's pretty heavy. Um, so you're able to pick it up with a forklift, set it in the back of your truck. It's got a nice lock on there. And then this opens up and hinges back to hold that open. So I'm going to move this and we'll take a better look at it. Here we go. So you can see the lock assembly there. This is actually kind of nice because you don't have to use a key to latch it. You just use a key to lock it. And if you have gloves on your outside, that's uh, real easy to turn. Like a lot of our carts, you can lock and unlock the drawers separate from the top. These are drawer dividers that were ordered with this. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom, like I was talking about on the cage where the forklift could go ahead and lift that up. And then this one, we have just full drawers. You can see um, that he had the drawer dividers already kind of set up in here. So you got 
two shallow drawers, and then this goes to a little bit deeper of a drawer, and then the bottom one is a little deeper of a drawer. So there's four drawers total, plus the top on this. And I'll see if I can get a side angle here a little bit. And that is the heavy duty road chest. Gas struts there. Go ahead and close it up. And that is what it looks like all closed up, ready to go to work. It's another hot one out today. So yeah, if you guys see something in the videos and you want me to take a little closer look at it, just throw a comment down below. I surely read through them all. I appreciate all the comments, especially all the likes. The subscriptions are awesome. We're almost at 2,800. I'm watching about every uh, every couple hours. I check it out, see where we're at. This is just growing awesome. Um, you guys finally got to go on a uh, repo with me, and it's not as like dramatic as you would expect. You know, I went there, and and the owner of the shop already had it pulled out um, out of the shop, ready for me to pick it up. These things are planned. We just don't show up out of the blue and be like, hey, I decided to take your stuff today. No, if you don't pay for uh, quite a while, we schedule it, we come, we get it. But I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me tonight and uh, keep subscriptions, the likes and comments coming in. And on that note, have a good night.